NOVO is an innovation school for middle and high school students. Instead of having year-long classes like math or English or something, we have two-week-long st studios. And so in these studios, these are projects where we're presented with an open-ended problem, and almost every project is created with a team, which makes it so much more fun. <laughs> Our pedagogy is based on uh, an architectural model that is really about a design process. It's teaching critical thinking, it's teaching the ability to uh, empower your own ideas and go through an iterative creative process that is collaborative, that it has a critical loop to it. The first couple days we do a lot of introductory work where the students get to learn um, deeply about the problems that we're addressing and then we do a lot of brainstorming and ideation. After that phase, after the students divide up into groups, I'll go around to different groups and help them both by giving feedback about their designs and their ideas, but also actually helping them technically. So when I was at regular school, there was no chance for me to be myself, really. What's really great about New View is it's all like what I want to do. I'm very passionate about my projects that I'm working on, and I get very interested in them. It's very open and independent, and while most people would think that's a bad thing, kids could just do whatever they want, you're really given a task here that's great, and when you, you're into the task, you really want to just get it done. I came to Nuvu because I, I like building things, and I thought that Nuvu would be the best fit for me for building my ideas and like making them come to life. And I love regular school, but I thought it'd be very cool. I'm really interested in the engineering and designing aspect of of building and prototyping and stuff and all this cool software work. So right now I'm working on a hand drive wheelchair attachment. And so what it does is it uses a ratcheting mechanism, which means it has free resistance in one direction and it locks in the other direction. But what we've done is we've stacked two on top of each other. So when you switch the handle, it actually goes backwards. And the super cool thing about this, which was like crazy to make, was that this one is actually has a gearing up ratio. So it's faster than with, if you would just push the wheel one-to-one. -one. So this is a, um, one of the projects that I recently created, which is a music box that attaches to a bus pole. So the, the need for it is that when you, when you sit at a bus stop, obviously um, everyone's on their phones and in the winter it's cold and there's really nothing to do while waiting for it. So the purpose of this was to create an interactive piece of art that, that brings people together in a communal way. So this is a bus pole that everyone sees at the bus stop. And what we created was a cylindrical music box that attaches to it. This is the music box part. There's a resonation system down here. So these are the actual tongs that are tuned. At any given point, we just want to track where the students are in their process. We track the creative skills, and mostly for us this uh, revolves around uh, kind of the critique process, how the students are, are uh, kind of uh, taking that critique and synthesizing it into design decisions, uh, how they are communicating their ideas and how they are collaborating with others. I think the critique process is something that is definitely an adjustment period for some kids. And I think part of it is that like when you're a creative person, when you have creative ideas, it's really hard to separate them from yourself. And so it's very common for students to get defensive or to just kind of write off the critiques just because it's so hard to like really put yourself out there. Um, and I've definitely had critiques that have gone really well and I've also had critiques where like my eyes water a little bit. But I'm also, you know, I know that these people are here to help me. Like these people are my family at Newview. Our hope is that a student goes away from this experience with the idea that what they believe in and what they think matters and that it's really about the process, not about the thing that comes out the other end. I think the most important piece is really creating learning environments that engage the students. And you don't engage the students by giving them problems that you already know the answer for. Uh, you know, you engage them by giving problems that they are excited about, that they feel that they could change the world by solving them.